Hello there, Tequila here. Today on this video, I'm going to walk you through your dashboard and also show you how to set up your payment gateway and taxes. So because your site is new and fresh, um, I'm going to show you the dashboard in my Shopify account um, where there's information there for you to look at. So we're gonna start right now with the home page. Okay, so on the home page, um, it shows you information that's useful, such as if you have any orders waiting to be fulfilled by you, um, how many people or sessions have um, happened on your site for that particular day, or if you want to, you can look at it by the week or you know however long. Um, it shows you things like which products were most commonly viewed, um, you know things like that. And you could set this up on the side any way that you want to. Um, I just choose to look at my online store. That's pretty much how I keep it set up. Um, one thing that I love to look at, I love to watch this number get smaller. Um, I started a while, like over a year ago, and um, I forgot what this number started off as. But as I have grown and found ways to attract more people to my website, um, this number has gotten smaller, which means that I'm getting more traffic than a lot of people um, who, who launched their store the same week as me um, a year ago. So that's cool. Um, this shows you um, where the customers are coming from. Are they coming from Instagram? How long are they staying? How many uh, page views are they, pages are they looking through? Okay. The social media sites, it captures that information. Um, it tells you, like, if you have any payouts, um, when they're going to be paid out, what has been paid, how much um, you have coming in for that particular day, um, and just some other information. When you make changes to your site, it shows up here. And they throw in some other information, these little things that you don't necessarily want, if you want to get rid of them, you can either snooze or dismiss them. Okay? Next thing we're going to take a look at is the orders, and this is called the, the dashboard. So whenever I say dashboard, I'm referring to um, this view. If you're on a, a desktop or a laptop, um, this is the dashboard. If you're looking at it on your phone, the view will be a little bit different. You'll be looking at it, excuse me, in the um, Shopify app, and it'll be a completely different look, but the same information. All right, so keep in mind again that this is how everything looks on a, a desktop or a um, laptop. All right, so these are where all the orders live, okay? So orders that um, people have, you know, they've purchased, it tells the date, their name, what um, order number it is, how much they spent, um, if they've paid, whether or not you have fulfilled the item, which means you have, you know, packed it up, shipped it, delivered it, or whatever, whatever, um, whatever your process is going to be. Um, if it's shipped out, or, or sorry, if you create a shipping label for it, and unfulfilled means it's still sitting there, um, you probably need to go ahead and print it out or whatever. Okay, you can sort this view however you want it. Um, also, you can create an order. I direct 99% of my customers to my website, um, but there are times when people, you know, I allow them to put an order into me, and that is when I go in and I create an order. I would suggest that as an entrepreneur, you train your customers to make their purchases through your website. That way you can charge them tax, because you have to pay tax if you're set up correctly in your um, city. or um, and you, you need to direct them to your website, basically. Train them to do that. That's going to be a lot less headache. Everything is here. You'll get an alert letting you know when an order has been placed. It's, it's a, a, a less of a chance for you to forget that you have an order or something because you've written it down someplace or it's in your phone. Direct them to your website. Okay. Um, drafts, that's when you create an order manually. And abandoned checkouts is if someone starts an order, um, for some reason they don't finish it, they'll show up there. Okay, so let's take a look at products. 
So products, um, everything that you sell on your page is going to show up here. If you want to filter through and just look at something in particular, say uh, I'm going to put in butter and then it brings up um, all products that have my body butter in them. So that's one way to sort. Okay. And you can click on these and it'll take you to the listing. All right. Um, inventory. When you need to change your numbers, say you have five things instead of six now, um, you can also again type in the certain product or it shows you and you can adjust your inventory. And that is a way for you to keep up with what you have. And that lets um, allows customers to purchase it um, if it's in stock or if you set your product so that they can still purchase it if it's out of stock which is a back order, you can do that as well. Transfers, um, you won't really do anything much with that as a, a beginner. Collections shows you the different collections that you have. Um, and those are shown on your web, your, your, your homepage, if you had it, have it set up that way, okay? So let's talk about customers. All right, so customers um, just shows like, uh, you know, just it shows, you know, their names. <clears throat> it shows whether they have subscribed to your email list. It shows, um, what else does it show? It shows how many orders they've placed with you, how much they spent over the, you know, the lifetime of them being a customer with you. And you can also add customers <clears throat> as well. Excuse me. So one thing is, let me pull up the front end of, of my site, the home page. So this is where my collect, collection show. Just mentioning that previously, I want to show you where the collection show. But I actually want to show you, let me see if I have one at the bottom of mine. Okay, so I don't have one, but in some people's footer, they'll have a place where you can um, sign up for their email list right there. Okay, you can sign up um, or anywhere you put it. So if you use the one that's, that comes with the Shopify setup, then when they sign up, it's going to automatically put your customer's information in the customer's tab here in the dashboard. Okay. Let's talk about analytics. All right, so analytics is pretty similar to the home. Analytics is a little bit more um, in depth, okay? It'll tell you how many sales you made that day, how many customers um, or how many visitors have viewed, how many of them are returning, conversion rates. Um, it'll tell you how many people added things to a car, how many of those actually reached checkout, how many of those actually converted, which means they actually made a purchase. Okay. Those are, you know, good pieces of information to know. Tells you where the customers are viewing from. As you can see, 18, all 18 of the viewers here today are coming from the United States. It tells you if they're on a mobile device or a desktop. Um, it tells you the traffic source when it says direct. That either means that the people type your website in directly into the, uh, the web address bar to get to your site, or either when they searched for you, they were brought there. And of course, search means they were on search engine and it brought them to you, and social is social media. Did they come from your um, Facebook page? Or did they come from your Instagram account, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, sales by traffic source it would be there if they made a sale it would tell you how they got there it's similar to this um, on online store sessions by source okay so two of the visitors today came through Facebook top landing pages is telling you which pages they landed on once they clicked your website link from wherever they came from if it was direct if it was search engine if it was from Facebook or Instagram they landed here, they landed there. Okay, you get it? So this information can be useful when it comes time to start doing advertisements 
um, say through Facebook or Instagram or whatever you use. And it goes deeper, but you know, we don't need to go that deep right now. Let's talk about discounts. So you can offer people discounts, okay? You could create a discount, it's very easy. Um, one thing that I like to do is sometimes customize the way the discount appears. Um, if you were a customer, are you more likely to remember a discount code that looks like this or a discount code that looks like this? Probably this, right? Okay, so you can customize it this way. Um, you can also choose to for the discount to be a percentage off or it can be a dollar amount off. Okay, let's go in there real quick. See, so they, the discount code, you can create it or they'll, they'll automatically give them that long one. So if we choose discount code, you can title it whatever you want to title it here. You can choose if it's going to be a percentage off, a fixed dollar amount off, or if it's just free shipping, or if it's, hey, you buy one of these, you get uh, two of those free. That's what that one means. Okay. And just information. Uh, one thing that I like that you can do is you can say that discount only applies to a specific collection, maybe just your jewelry collection, or maybe just your bath and body collection. Or you can say, oh, I only want it to apply to body butters or to bracelets. You would do it here. Or if you want to apply to the entire order, it goes there. Um, minimum requirements. Um, you can say they don't have to spend a certain amount or they have to spend um, $50. Or you can specify that it's only for certain customers. Now, the customer has to be in your customer um, section of your dashboard for this to work. You can limit it to the number of times discount can be used like totally. If I put this discount, first 50 people, they get the discount. Uh, or you can say, um, well, if a million people come and use that, they all can get the discount, but it's only, they can only use it one time. And it allows you to set the start date. And if you don't set an end date, then it'll just keep going. The discount will be available you know, indefinitely, or if they um, use it once, if it's a once per use, if they use it once, that's it. But you can also set an expiration date, okay? The coupon's only good for, you know, however long. And then you just make sure you save the, the discount before you um, get out of this. All right, so apps is a place where you can go and, um, Click here, it'll take you to the Shopify store. They're just like apps on your iPhone or your um, Android. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. And they allow you to do different things. Okay, so your your, your um, store comes with some apps, um, but you can always go in here and explore and find different things that will add different functionalities to your site. Okay, I wanna come down here to, right, I wanna come down here to settings really quick. And I'm trying to come down, but um, let's see. I'm going to type it up here because the program that I'm using to record this is not letting me click on that in the corner because it's right over the settings button. Let's see. So I'm going to just go a back way. But your settings is going to be down right here, and you should be able to access that easily. All right, so let's take a look first at um, taxes. If you're legit as a business person, you should be paying taxes locally, sales tax, okay? Um, <clears throat> so let's see what it says about your sales tax. Um, I don't know if it's gonna tell me here. All right, so you actually have to be registered. You have to have a sales tax ID number um, in order to to do this part, I believe. It says mine is not added, not provided. Uh, but when I tried to set this up for a customer, it wouldn't allow me to set they had to I had to add the tax registration first. So but any anyway, this is how you add your taxes, whatever the taxes are for your local city and your state. All right. Let me go because I run out of time here. All right, so on payments, 
this is how you set up your payments gateway. You can do PayPal, 